All right, guys, welcome to the channel. This is episode one of my new vlogging series. I'll be doing a short uh, ride in a vlog uh, once a week, besides my uh, uh, adventures and my bike reviews. This is something new to the channel. So today we're headed over to Hagerstown Moped. Um, I don't know why they call it Hagerstown Moped, but they sell um, some of the different 49cc scooters. I've never been in there. Um, basically going to go in there and take, uh, check the prices of these bad boys. Uh, I know they have Kimco, uh, Wolf. Um, I really do not know anything about those particular scooters. So hopefully I can go in there and find out some information, get some prices, get some some speeds of what they do. So let's go on our little ride here. So I hope everyone's having a good week. As the recording of this video, I believe it is April the 15th. Current temperature outside is 79, hit it up to about 84. It was 84 yesterday. A little more clouds today, but still very warm out. Since we are officially in the riding season, well, I never stopped, but you know, great weather season. Um, I wanted to start doing a uh, weekly vlog. Uh, we will have a topic on each each uh, each little ride. Today is we're going to be checking out some different bikes besides, you know me, I'm always at uh, the Honda dealership twig looking at the Ruckuses and the, the Yamahas and the Kawasaki's. This is like something totally different for me. You gotta watch out for that grass in the road guys. I don't know why they blow it in the road but Anyway, yeah, each of these videos are going to be about 15 minutes long. It's all going to be vlogging. It's uh, just a point of view here with the camera on the mount, on the mounted on the helmet. I'm not even sure the prices of these like Kimcos and Wolves and stuff. I would imagine they're probably around a thousand, twelve hundred, something like that. I'm not very familiar, like I said, with those uh, other brands. So we'll go in and check those out. Basically, what I'm trying, if if I can get one cheap enough for like a thousand or twelve hundred. Some of the friends come over and they don't have motorcycle license and you know they want to ride the ruckus well the ruckus and the x max are two different things i'm like i would have to like barely even drive to keep you know to keep up or i would be pulling away the whole time so i want to get something a little cheaper um so when people come over and they just want to go for a ride i'll jump on the ruckus and they can jump on the, one of these little cheap scooters but it all depends on the price right now. Absolutely gorgeous weather. Actually, it's a lot warmer than it's supposed to be. Usually this time of year, it's in the mid 60s. Uh, yesterday was 84, today's gonna be 83. It's actually a little humid too. It's a little humidity in the air. But I am not complaining. Actually going to be filming a adventure uh, Thursday and Friday on the Yamaha X-Max some great locations and hopefully that will be up on Sunday I 
Got another new pair of Fast Goose gloves. I got the Patriotic ones the other week, and I love them so much. They, they're so they're lightweight. Um, they're easy to uh, turn the camera off and on. They're they're great for the spring and summer. They're like 20 bucks a pair. And I thought these bone ones were pretty cool. And they got little sayings, give me victory or give me death. But no, these are great for the spring and summer. I'll leave the link uh, in the description in case anyone's interested in uh, maybe ordering a pair of them. Now I know they're doing some road construction on the road that this shop is on. Whoops, don't want to get on the highway. What am I doing? X Max is running great as always. Uh, had a little problem yesterday again the same old uh, song and dance um, worked a six hour shift yesterday and um, took the X Max sit in the sun it was 80 like I said it was 84 degrees and had trouble starting it so I opened up the gas cap and it hesitated a little bit more but it started I just don't get it I mean, it almost makes me not want to ride it to work when I do work. If it's going to do that the whole time. Actually, I'm going to get it on video. So if you guys, any of you guys own an X-Max and yours does that as well. And it has nothing to do with the battery. I'm just going to nip that in the bud because it starts any other time. It's only when it sits out in the sun for a long period of time. It has nothing to do with the battery. You definitely can tell the landscape is changing. The trees are getting leaves on them. Everything is green, flowers everywhere definitely feels good yeah no, not gonna make this light well, like I said these are a good lightweight summer glove sun's back out and it's actually um, getting too warm for this hoodie I got the official slow riders motor vlog hoodie on had a couple of these ordered it's just so like like I don't know if you guys know any printing companies but like they just want so much per um, per sweatshirt, per t-shirt. It's not even really like, you know, with the graphics on it and the sweatshirt was $24. But the shipping they charge is outrageous. Got the high vis orange on. Is that like a construction law now? Like all construction workers, like you see, like these guys, they got the high vis green on. It's like a safety requirement now. Damn. Got a little situation here. I just looked behind me. There was some uh, somebody on a, one of those little scooters that we're going to see.
I love getting red lights. There's the lights to the stadium. Uh, opening day for the uh, Hagerstown Flying Boxcars is uh, the 26th of April. Stadium is just about done. I think they actually had to delay the opening by a couple days. But not too long. Coming up to my favorite traffic circle in the world. The traffic circle from hell is what I call it. Not too bad. It's the middle of the day, so. Not too much farther to go. Me and Adam were at Twig the other day and just checking out all the new bikes and they had the uh, Honda Rebel 1100 which has got a DCT and it's got an automatic transmission as well I think he kind of fell in love with it There's the sheriff. Yeah, even that bike was pretty light, the 1100. I mean, I'm not interested in all at all, but it'd be cool if they would make those, um, the, um, like the Rebel 300 and Rebel 500 in automatics. That way you could have like a, um, you know, a motorcycle cruiser, but an automatic would, that would really be cool. I would definitely be down for that. Yeah, look, right up here is one of these little scooters right here. Here's a green one. Let's check him out. He's rolling. Go get him, buddy. That's what kind we're going to look at. Like I said, I don't know what it's going to be. Like the price of those are. I mean, I think I've heard that Kimco is okay. Like, is a pretty good brand. So, I mean, if it's a 49cc, will it go, like, will a Kimco go? Oh, man, we got the Groove Road, guys. The dreaded Groove Road. Look at that. Here we go. You think riding through that water last week was bad? Oh, man. I just feel like you have no control at all. I don't know if this guy will even let me film in here. So I got the uh, the the helmet cam on today. So I'll just leave it running when we go in there. I won't be filming with my phone and stuff. 
I, really, I don't even know the guy. I've never been in here. But it's just right down here. Right here. Hagerstown. Hagerstown. Moped and... Hagerstown, Moped and Hobby. some close quarters here got this big semi truck coming past me Jesus Christ damn he's literally like two inches from me Thank you. that was crazy Let's go ahead and check this out. Now here we go. This is a wolf. And he said this one's like two grand. This is thirteen hundred. Is that the is that Tamo or that is that what that is? Town Motors, yep. Town Motors. Yep. So you got three brands here. You got this one, and you got the Wolf, and the um, Kimco is the best. Yeah, I see a lot of people riding riding these around town. Yeah. I'm sure, you sell probably quite a few of them. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're a nice scooter for the price. And they're like what, thirteen hundred? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like how they have racks on them and everything. Yeah. <coughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but this Kimco right here, man, I can put some foot pegs on this thing. I just that black and white man. I like that and that back and that backrest. Is it is the white and blue the only colors that comes in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you said this has two year warranty on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, I, and it's like, all right, so it's the cheapest bike they had in there was 1200 
Kimco was two grand out the door. Two ninety five. Twenty five dollars for the sticker, so probably around probably twenty three hundred. Dang man. An electric scooter. That thing was rolling. So that's I mean that's a little high. I mean uh 2000 for the Kimco. I mean, I don't even know much about Kimco. So any of you guys watching have a has a Kimco? Uh leave some comments, let me know how it is. And but then you have the Honda Navi. I could get a Navi for 1807. Well, it's not going to be 1807 out the door, but but then you need a motorcycle license to ride the Navi. I don't know, it's something I have to think about. Did like the little backrest on it and everything. It's definitely pretty cool little bikes. He was saying off camera it's about 35 miles an hour on average. I can't imagine it being as fast jeezy wheezy as fast as the uh the ruckus but oh my god these ungroove roads man just feel like you're gonna go down any second all right now we're on some level ground that's something to think about yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about the Wolf brand and the Tamo, whatever it was, Tao. Yeah, if you, any of you guys are familiar with any of those brands, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. If you own one, tell me what you think. Is it a good bike? How fast does it go? I appreciate anybody's feedback. The dude was really nice. Definitely got tight quarters in there. So he basically he basically has got um, cheaper four wheelers, cheaper scooters, a lot of um, like RC car stuff there. bunch of buzzards up there something must be dead because I mean you think about it a ruckus is 2800 and out the door depending on your state it's going to be another thousand with stickers and taxes and fees and crate fees so he was just talking 2095, 2095 plus your sticker. So I mean that's not too bad. But I don't, I, you know, I really don't trust those um, other ones that are thirteen hundred dollars. And the and the Kimco had a two year warranty on it. That's not bad. Yeah, a lot of people that I ride with, they're not going to get their motor. Some of the people, you know, they want to ride, but they don't want to go through. They're not passionate about it. They just want to get a little scooter and and do it. But like, 
it would just be cool to have something small like that inexpensive for like when my son comes over like he has no desire to get a, a motorcycle or a motorcycle license but for him to come over and we can just I could jump on the ruckus he could jump on something like that and we can just do some country roads would it would be cool so some stuff there to consider I was just thinking about that semi truck I know this is not a little kid driving on it in the street where, where are people's parents why isn't he in school unbelievable I mean, no, I was just thinking about um, that semi truck that how close that thing was I it, you could put a, a ruler a yard uh, oh my god a 12 inch ruler between us that's how close it was like if I was driving that truck I would never put like he could have easily just I don't know people take chances man and I had there was, there was nothing I could do I'm turning Well, that was a good little quick ride on uh, episode one of the weekly vlogging series. Uh, we got to go in and check out some bikes, some scooters, something different from the uh, the norm that we usually go see. Like I said, I got a uh, filming an adventure this week on the X Max here. And guys, remember like, subscribe, comment below. If you like the channel, spread the word. Let's get out. Let's get out there. I'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Let's see if we can do it. All right, guys. Till next time. Slow Riders Motor Vlog is out of here.